Oh. Oh, here it is. Huh? What? Great. The birch tree's thawing out. What the hell? Temperature has been restored. I had to think the entire time. Are you kidding me? What? Hold on a minute. You mean to tell me that I had this thing the entire time? I don't remember that. What? This is crazy. Alright. Alright, let's get moving. We did it, Comrade Major. Slow your roll, Glove. I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped <laughs> a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? Yes, please. Yeah, sure. I'm not exactly itching to stick around. Finally, we're leaving this place. Charles, how did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Fucking hell, look either Dr. Sechenov really three or four episodes to get out of this he place. Did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Ah, oh, shit. Poor bastard. Oh. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Yeah. Well, shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break, or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something. Like, a dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all, along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. Yeah. You're telling me. You know, I could, uh, you know, I could stay here all day, listening to the elevator music. Really is relaxing. Uh, huh? We no. need to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solnitsnaya. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go. Let's. Yeah, let's go. Hey, Nora, is that you? Access granted. Oh, never mind. Whoa! What? Oh, chill us. Shit, chill us. What are they doing? They're repairing broken robots. The more chillers there are, the sooner the damaged unit will be fixed. Oh, They're shit. not currently dangerous. You can keep going. Just ignore them. Okay. I'll just try my best to ignore them. Oh, that is not good. I think I'll wait. One of them has a camera. I'd rather not have it see me. Fuck. Which other facility robots are dangerous? All of them, I suppose. Other than the Tereshkovas, as they operate autonomously and are not connected to the network. So the central hub infiltrated by Petrov does not have access to the Tereshkovas. Uh, at least someone here isn't trying to kill me. Thanks. For nothing. What the fuck? Fuck off me! Hey. Uh. Fuck off me! Get out of here! Holy shit. Fucking scared me.
the master of unlocking. Hell yeah. Alright, let's have a look inside. There are no dicks on the gate. I gotta get out of here. Damn it. Been locked by the security system. We need to gain access. The only way to do this is by connecting to the security cameras. Unfortunately, I lack that ability. There's a Fucking special hell. camera diagnostic system, CDS2 Valon. I can use one to connect to the cameras. The system might come in handy for stuff other than diagnostics. Hopefully there's one around here somewhere. According to available data, a device with that designation can be found in this village. Detecting its signal, use the scanner to triangulate its coordinates. Get out of here! <laughs> I am the master of unlocking. Wait, what do I need to do? Oh. Oh, okay. See ya, nerd! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you missed, idiot. Yes, there you Will this device allow us to hack into the security system? Hacking into the system would be tricky. Alright, let's go for it. Uh... Okay. Access denied. Please provide a valid code. Where's the fire, Sonny? Granny. Granny. Is that you? So you haven't forgotten old Granny Zena? She's alive. Oh, good for you. How's the Vavilov complex treating you? You like the cute little bush they got there? That cute little bush almost killed me. I barely made it out in one piece. <laughs> and now I'm stuck here with this lousy piece of shit, Valon. Here's a little tip for you, Sonny. <laughs> you need bigger guns. Then you can take out all those nasty buggers without breaking a sweat. Right. Yeah. Guns are kind of hard to find around here. You yeah. should stop by my hut. I'll find you a blueprint. And it'll help you back into that Volan. I've got some codes for it around here someplace. Your hut? Let's what go. What kind of Baba Yaga would I be without a hut on chicken legs? Chicken <laughs> legs? broke the mold when they made you, Granny. All right. I'll come to your hut. Where is it? See the field on the hill? Down the road from that tower of yours. Let me see it. Head that way and wait for me there. I won't be long. Alright. There's only one thing to do. We're going to Grandma's hut. Oh. Is that a bell? Oh, it's not a bell. Huh. What the fuck? What is that thing? Let me go, you son of a bitch! What the fuck is that thing? Is the same thing? Oh god! That fucking bot almost killed me. What? Uh, uh, what? That was impressive. Well, I'm here now, Sonny. Thanks for the assist, Granny Zena. So, where are these big guns of yours? I'm gonna need them. Come on in. Have a cup of tea. Oh, nice. You got peach tea? Is that Nora? Kettle 
Bottles there. Help yourself. Uh, okay. Nice TV. What's on? Cartoons. Have a seat and watch. Cartoons? What the hell are you? Regarding Shush. the reports. Your beloved Sechenov, son. I want you to watch closely. At facility 3826. The malfunction has already been corrected, Comrade Molotov. Everything's back to normal. There's nothing to worry corrected about. Corrected or not, our American friends are likely to find out about this outrageous incident. Do you realize what this could mean for us? An international scandal! Mm. I am fully aware of... Are it. you? Our Atomic Heart Project My. is in jeopardy! My oh, he said the title. A project I started before the beginning of that damn war. A project you all refused to acknowledge. How many millions of Soviet citizens died in that bloody meat grinder of a war? I swore that the world would never see its like again. Well, well. I'm glad to hear you still value human life <laughs> over your mechanical <laughs> toys, Comrade Sechenov. But that does not change the fact that we are all slowly being suffocated by Western sanctions. Comrade Molotov, I value human life above all else. And the age of capitalist exploitation is coming to an end. Soon the Western working Comrade class Sechenov. will cast off the yoke of the oppressor. I understand my duty all too well, Comrade Molotov. The polymerization of the entire Soviet population. The launch of the collective neural network. Operation Atomic Heart. What duty it again. are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water. They're not going to find out. I repeat, the malfunction has been dealt with. Comrade Sechenov, some members of the Politburo may be willing to take you at your word as an honored member of the Academy of Sciences. But I'm afraid your word is just not enough for me. Damn. What's that supposed to mean? Word? The Politburo has come to a decision. And I have been ordered to head a special commission Investigating your malfunction. We will be at your facility later today. Do I make myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Well, Comrade Molotov, if the party deems it necessary, then... Holy shit, Granny Zena. How the hell did you get access to this? This is direct connection. I've got eyes and ears everywhere, sweet cheeks. Don't worry about it, okay? It's none of your business. Besides, you've got work to do. He's right. I've got a little present for you. It's in the corner. You know what to do with Volan codes, right? And take this blueprint. You can give it to my repair vendor. It won't bite. Unlike your girlfriend. She's not. <laughs> what? Girlfriend? <laughs> Thanks, lady. You're a real peach. Why the fuck am I starting to simp over a refrigerator? Please select the desired procedure. Oh, nice. What the hell are you? Are you half chicken, half house? What the hell are you? Alright, I'm off. You're no ordinary old lady. Really? You seem a little mixed up, Sonny. <laughs> no kidding. You've got a flying hut, a quantum computer hanging from the ceiling. Of course I'm mixed up. I've never met anybody like you before. You've got a memory like a sieve, haven't you? Well, I guess there's a few little things I can't remember since I got injured. But I definitely remember you. Little things, you say? Well, now you've got something really important to do, right? Pretty much. I need to get to the VDNH. Is there a train station around here? It's right past the village. Head down the road, you can't miss it. Just keep an eye on the sky. All right. 
Anyway, I gotta run. Off you go, little pup. Oh, I almost forgot. You didn't find a couple of rings down there, did you? Huh? Gold ones in a facility 3826 box. Rings in a box? No, Granny Zena, I didn't see anything like that. I was kind of busy. Well, off you go then. Enjoy the VDNH. Ooh. Thanks. I really appreciate the help. Wait. You're meeting Stockhausen there, aren't you? How the hell did you know about that? Yeah. Little bird huh? told me. Tell the Crouch things might have been different if he hadn't been chasing after another man's woman. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about. Grab a car in the village. It's a long walk to the station. All right. Off I go. Charles, who is this Granny Zena lady anyway? That's a difficult question to answer, Comrade Major. I've never met her. Yeah? I figured you knew her. Why is that? You didn't say a word when we were talking. I assumed you didn't want her to hear your voice. I decided not to reveal myself until I can determine exactly whose side she's on. Makes mm -hmm. sense. So, what about this atomic heart project Dr. Sechenov was talking to Comrade Molotov about? I have no data about it. You'd have to ask Dr. Sechenov. Nah, eh, it doesn't matter. The boss will tell me about it if I need to know. Let's go find a way to the station. Yeah. We're off to an adventure. That was a surprise. Oh, fuck. Big fight ahead of you. More enemies incoming. Ah, shit. Really? I can't deal with that right now. I gotta get going. Get out of my way. And you get out of my way. Alright. Running. I'm rushing through. Where do they keep coming from? A bumblebee rover is delivering them from a nearby factory. I've got a shot. <laughs> oh, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Found the station, and the train is right there. There it is. All we have to do now is take a seat and we're off. Hell I yeah. sincerely hope we don't encounter any obstacles along the way. Don't jinx it, glove. Otherwise, we'll find a goddamn canister lock on the door. Oh boy. There are bodies everywhere. They never saw the bots coming. No Ooh. one expected civilian robots to display this kind of aggression. No shit. I wouldn't have seen it coming either. Robots pulled our country back from the edge of a cliff after the ground plague. A decade later, people believe civilian robots are dependable and helpful. It's a terrible shame. Ooh. Greetings, comrade. Huh? Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of Facility 3826 Transportation System. I need to get to the VDNH right away. It will be my pleasure, comrade. The current load of the train line is 0%. You may depart immediately. All right. Great, let's go. Assuming you have purchased a ticket. A, a ticket? A fucking ticket? A Are ticket? you stupid? There are corpses everywhere. There's an emergency protocol in effect over the entire facility. Start the train right now. We have no time for According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. 
I do not detect any signs of pregnancy. I'm paraplegic. Show me a note from the gynecologist. I'll show you signs of pregnancy, you piece of shit. If you have a mental disability, <laughs> please present your disability certificate. That's it. Ah, oh, man. Comrade Major, note that this particular graphic is not an autonomous system. He is the high-speed train vortex. Destroying him will permanently disable the train. All right. Listen here, you lousy hunk of junk. Where do I get your fucking ticket? You may yeah, purchase easy. it at the nearest ticket easy. window. There are special discounts easy, available though. for passengers traveling with children. Uh, what ticket window, you dumb shit? They're closed. <laughs> Everyone's dead. Nobody's selling tickets. According True. to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. Cram it, you prick. I'll end up hoofing it all the way to the VDNH at this rate. Uh, <laughs> okay. Are you sure you haven't lost your marbles like those other robots? You're not gonna crash the train and kill us, are you? Passenger safety is the foremost concern of any robotic vehicle. Our algorithms? I've seen what your algorithms can do. Charles, is there a neuropolymer capsule with a train manual on it in this station? You can drive the Vortex yourself if we find one. Unfortunately, this station isn't a transit hub. There won't be a manual capsule here. Oh, fuck. Damn. Fine, whatever. I'm out of here. Yeah, let's go find a train ticket around here. What am I supposed to do now? Search every single body here? I suggest talking to the polymerized victims. Shit. Do I have to? Ah. Uh -uh. Do I have to talk to those things? Damn it. Do I have to talk to them? Ah. Oh. Hey, you got a ticket? There are no tickets! The window is closed! I need a train ticket. A ticket? What the hell are you talking about? There are crazy robots all over the place! Help! They're killing me! <laughs> Sorry, comrade. No one can help you now. Hey, you got a ticket, sir? Kai. Rescue. Failure. Excuse me, comrade, but do you have a train ticket? Must go. Ramen key. Emergency. What? Failed everyone. People died. Elimination was correct. Son. Asshole. <laughs> Holy hell, I'm wasting my fucking time here. Robots. In disguise. Not glad to be of service. Not glad. I'll keep that in mind. I gotta go. See ya. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, no. Triple attack. Three against one. I like those odds. One bullet. Let's go. I can't. I just can't. I can't leave this place. Literally. You don't have a spare ticket, do you, comrade? A ticket? Yes, I do have a ticket. Yes. But it's useless. How come? Because huh. this station is jinxed. Can't you see? <laughs> I'd use a different word, but I don't want to upset you. There's no other practical explanation. Get a it's loser. A <laughs> I'm telling you. First, I overslept. Then I forgot my papers. <laughs> I like how it says dead loser. I almost missed the train. And when I got here one minute before departure, everything froze before my eyes. This station is jinxed. Why don't I help you get rid of your jinx ticket and your backward superstitions, comrade? Take it, take it, and break the jinx. Thanks. Not sure about the jinx, though. Sweet. One train ticket. Let's go. 
Hey, I got a ticket. Here you go. Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of Facility 3826 transportation system. I got it. Here's your ticket. Now start the engine. Your ticket has expired. What? Your train departed four hours ago. Please exchange the expired ticket at the ticket window. Are you shitting me? Expired? What do you Everyone mean expired? Everyone already dead four hours ago. Have you just been going back and forth the entire time? Start the engine before I kick your metal ass. Riding with an expired ticket is unworthy of a Soviet citizen. Please exchange the expired ticket at the ticket window. Choke on it and die, you fat turd. <laughs> God damn it. I have to find another ticket. Which is a non-expired one. Huh, I can't see my reflection. Am I a vampire? That's a toilet. Uh, it's blocked. Oh! Palmer! You got a ticket? Can I have your train ticket, comrade? It's an emergency. Are you alive? Then run. You can make it. Leave the area. I can't. I'm the guy who's going to clean up this mess. Yeah. This is exactly what we thought when we sounded the alarm. And now we're hiding out instead of fixing the robots. I'm guessing your ticket's expired then, huh? I have a monthly pass. Has oh. it been a month yet? How long have I been lying You had a monthly pass. Ah, it hasn't been a month. Mind if I borrow your pass, comrade? You don't need it anymore. <laughs> and that fucking Rafik on the train is busting my balls. You saw a Rafik? <laughs> Do not approach it under any circumstances. Rafiks kill you if you try talking to them. They sure do. Talking to that metal moron is making me want to kill myself. <laughs> so how about that pass? What about it? Have you got a pass or not? I have. Take it. It's, it's in my pocket. I can't reach it. I'll get it. Thanks, comrade. <laughs> Do not approach graphics. They're dangerous. I can't reach them. <laughs> yes. One month. Uh, one monthly pass ticket. Let's go. All right. Here's your ticket again. Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of Facility 3826 transportation system. Is this ticket okay? Will you let me ride now, you bloodsucker? Why didn't you notify me you had a travel document, comrade? It could speed up the departure of the train. Maybe because I didn't have it back then. Are you saying this isn't your ticket? Riding with someone else's huh? ticket is unworthy of a Soviet citizen. What did you just say? What? Please do not worry. Having analyzed the situation, I came to the conclusion that you are a law enforcement officer investigating an emergency. It is obvious that you are allowed to travel free of charge under the current circumstances. Huh. Are you serious? Feel free to take any available seat. The train is departing in 10 seconds. Wow. Let's go. We just witnessed a real miracle of science. <laughs> the train is now departing. Oh, let's go. Next stop. Solnechnaya Station. Ooh, free seats. Seems pretty cut and dry. That's about it. We've already been over this. There are too many unanswered questions. Oh, hey, yes. I need to get to the set. Okay. I understand, Comrade Major, but what do you need to get to the bottom of? I can't even imagine Sechenov killing his best friend. That's just crazy. I mean, why would he do it? Why, indeed? That is, unless Zaharov betrayed him like his other colleagues did. Dr. Filatova, for example. Filatova went after Petrov. She's a woman in love. She wasn't thinking straight. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. What's that thing? Oh, no. It's Sonic! It's that damn hedgehog bot. Huh? What happened to my frames? Train go boom. Sonia Chnaya Station. Next 
Oh, crispy critters. Uh oh. Stark? No time for dirt nap, Stark. Get your ass up and head to cover. Spill it. What did Station Off say? Oh, okay, okay. Easy it's like, now. Okay, okay. Comrade Molotov is on his way. Head down. To the... Okay. Uh, Comrade Sechenov wants you to go there right now and in initiate an emergency drill. Uh, got it? What the hell for? Okay, uh, fair enough. Uh, um, Anything else? Uh, Comrade Sechenov asked me to give you this. What's that? Huh. This will come in. You're a soldier, Agent B3. Your job is to cover me. What are you doing? So just cover me! Huh? Wait, where are you going? Uh, slippery little bitch. Oh, <laughs> I got whacked in the head by a bot. Did you seriously just do that? Uh. Heal, 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 heal. Where's this creepy music that you're playing? You know something? I got a shotgun! And he's got a shield. That's not fair. Show me what you got! It's pretty here. Just like Moscow. Better actually. More hmm. futuristic. And Where'd on go? a larger scale. My design. Your what? A linguistic error. I meant to say that it embodies my favorite design. Give it this on. And now where do we go? Come on. Not that hooker bot again. Is that actually out? There are robots beneath us. Really? I thought they were ladybugs. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or abilities? Locked. What else is new? Uh, Charles, open it. Unfortunately, I lack the ability to unlock doors. You're like a broken record, you know that? I'll deal with it. Yeah. Hey, a Volan. Sweet. I uh, see ya, idiot. <laughs> Okay, what do we have here? Uh, let's find out. Are you planning to disable the Hawk? It isn't responsible for opening the VBNH's doors, you know. Oh, here it is. Oh, so that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay. I'm running past you guys. It's the Hawk's service button. What does it do? It will cause the Hawk to land, so it can be serviced by a technician. How long will it stay there for? If it fails to make contact with a technician, not long. Then we need to move. What are you planning? I'm gonna take a ride on the Hawk and get a better view of the place. Maybe I'll see something. Die! 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 Ah! Come on! Get out of the way! And you two get out of the way! Oh, now there's two of them. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Yeah, yeah, me. Wait, 
Can I swim? I can walk up one? What should I do? Hang on to this handle or something? Hold on tight. Hawks are not designed to be ridden. What are these cables for? They weren't here before. The cables stabilize the hawk during bad weather. Ah, oh, maybe I can slide down a cable. Hell yeah. Interesting fact. From a bird's eye view, you can see that the grass in the park was planted in the shape of the peaceful atom. A bird's eye view? All right. What's this do? Shit, oh no! Dad, it's that thing again. Be careful. Hog seven units are quite dangerous. Oh no! Oh, come on, it's freaking adorable. Oh god, it's a freaking Sonic! It's Sonic! Little Sonic! Ah, oh, I don't know how many ammo! I'm out of healing capsules. 